All right, Vagabond, Warrior. How, okay, wait. Vagabond looks like Warrior, and Warrior looks like Vagabond. Who the fuck? Or no. Hero looks like Vagabond. Warrior looks like Hero. Who, who picked these names? I don't know what any of these things do anyway. Okay, Astrologer, I believe. Bandit, I believe. Bandit is prepared for coronavirus with cloth masks. What is a vagabond? A vagabond is a homeless person. All right. Tell me which of these three looks the most like a homeless person. Okay, level, vigor, mind. Dude, I don't know what any of these stats do, so I don't care. I literally don't care about any of this shit. Prisoner, ugh. Like, this is the worst thing to do to a new player of a game, is give them a completely meaningless but very complicated choice. We're just gonna... I don't want to be homeless. Warrior? Is this their way of saying man or woman without getting the gender binary people angry? Type A. I am a type A individual. Age young. Oh, the game's not ageist. Wait. Is there a disadvantage to any of these? Like, does this, like, make the enemies worse? Is this one of those things? It's a perk. All right. Ah! No, I don't want any of that stuff. <laughs> Too bad I didn't pick type B for that one. God. Story. I wasn't trying to skip the cutscene. I was trying to bring up the options and turn off the goddamn subtitles. Now I'm not going to know the story of the game. I cannot. I refuse to play games that subtitle while talking at you. That's like the worst decision. Talk about how you have no confidence in your own game production abilities. At least the accessibility people won't get mad at you if you do that. I should have known. Every single game, I need to look for that. All right, so I don't know why I'm here, but I assume it's something about there are bad people and creatures, and I am here to set things right. Why is there a shiny golden thing? Is that the Elden Ring? Pillage! Yeah, the translation is already weird. That's not pillaging. That's like scavenging or something. Is this like when people write stupid messages? Elden Ring ahead. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This was like the worst part of Dark Souls or Demon Souls or whatever they added. People think it's great, and they're all smoking crack. It's terrible. Touch bloodstain. I don't want to touch bloodstains. So it's literally like triggers to attack? That's so weird. So that's like fast attack. That's like second. Third. The game looks pretty okay so far. It's just the scale is weird. Oh, cool. I don't know how to play. Ow. Ow. I already died. 
Something tells me you're not supposed to win that one. I mean, that might be winnable if you're expert at the game, but like I literally know nothing about how to do anything. This is such a generic cave droplet sound effect. It's just really, really, really difficult, yeah. Yeah, like, dude, yeah. Okay, now I want to skip this. This is boring. This is the kind of thing that a good filmmaker can make interesting, Don't but games worry, games can't do this. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. I'm staring at a giant blurry screen, and it's not good blurry. The Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. The Geneva Convention. Elden Ring is a weapon of mass destruction. Who usually designs the cutscenes for the game? Is it a film director or not? It's usually just like some part of the art team does it because you usually don't if it's in engine cutscene you don't really outsource it usually unless you have a team that knows how to do stuff with whatever engine you're using tutorial is in the pit all right how am i supposed to know that Touch grass. See? This game is made for Twitter people. They want you to touch grass. LT skill. That's what I've been doing. Look at my skills. Oh, I can crouch in the tall grass. Bro. Dude, I'm crouching in the tall grass. Fuck yeah. Dude, that's such a stupid... I wish they would take that out of the game. Walking through mist to load the next area is a 2005 move. You gotta understand, they're afraid to change anything, right? They're afraid to take out the stupid player-to-player -player messages. They're afraid to take out the mist. Because they don't know why people like their game, right? So they're afraid to change anything. Also, they don't know what pillage means. Don't fix what isn't broken? No, but the problem is if you're too conservative about these things, you never get to the better thing or not as much better as it could be. You have to, like, the original thing you did is not optimal, right? You were learning, so you have to, you have to be able to remove, oh, it's the same dude. Like, the player-to-player -player messages are so immersion-breaking, just remove them from the game. Touch grass. Whoa, that looks weird. All right, I'll get used to it. Probably. Okay, so that bridge, video game bridges are usually bad. That bridge, it's not, it's the scale is, it's again, it's, it's not a bridge that would exist. Sag. Touch grass. I'm touching grass. I'm actually touching grass now. You are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Dude, the audio mix right there, like in an actual movie, 
They would have ducked down the music while the guy was talking so you could hear him better. And they would have DSP'd his voice so it would cross the music better. And they did none of that stuff in this game. Great. Great. That's why they have to put up the subtitles. Because they didn't actually do anything. Oh, the frame rate. Oh my god. Guys, this is an AMD Threadripper with a 3080 Ti. That said, I am maybe playing at 4K or something. I maybe, I maybe should have used the other monitor. We might have to play on the gamer monitor instead. I didn't think of that. Can I fight this vampire? Oh, he's going to fight me. That's the weirdest shield block I've ever seen. I'm Batman. By the way, the Batman pitch meeting that came out today is really good. Is that the Elden Ring? Right there? Or is that the Golden Accord? The Geneva Convention. It looks really good. I mean, they did a good job making that look cool. I'm in Ukraine. Can I pillage this guy? Oh, I don't want to pillage Jesus. I would feel bad about that. Ah! That's what I get for pillaging Jesus, guys. You go straight to hell if you do that. <laughs> All right. Well, I... Uh, that was exciting. I don't have health potion. I don't want to cut off my finger to go home. That's a big sword. Yeah, that guy's from Japan. Ooh. Look at all these dudes. It's like a whole battle. I just don't know who's the bad guys. I mean, I'm judging this guy by his appearance, right? Oh, shit. Don't do that. I'm a good guy. There we go. Wait, he shot his buddy. I think. I'm gonna hide in the tall grass. Ow! Shit, dude. Hold on. Come fight this crusader guy over here. He is crusader, no remorse. You remember crusader, no remorse. But do you remember crusader, no regret? The terribly named sequel to crusader, no remorse. Oh God! Dude, I almost went to hell again oh my god why is that there all right honestly i'm starting to get bored i'm bored of the game where do i take my gold pieces how do i buy power-ups chocobos i'm pillaging chocobos Follow the light from the graces. What does that even mean? What does the light from the graces mean? I don't know about light from the graces. I'm just out in a sheep field. Touch grass. Wait. 
So, it's like bad juju to attack horses. I hope you know that. Ow! Oh, dude, this guy... This guy doesn't fuck around. See what I'm saying? No, I meant to attack! X button is attack in Xbox games. Yeah, so that guy... That guy's mean. That guy's mean. You can join if you want. No, I mean, I think I'm kind of done with the game, honestly. I'm like, I'm not enjoying it. It, it feels a lot like the original game, except slightly more polished. Ow! It's actually easier, right, than the, than the original games by a lot. So there's all these enemies that you can just, like, kill really fast, which wasn't the case before. Like, dude, everybody was a bullet sponge in the original games, as I recall. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really not, not that into the game so far. Maybe that'll change, but... Do I dare fight a worm? if I go in this while on horseback I've never even seen a horse in my whole life okay I got exploded all right uh, I honestly I'm kind of done with the game I think I don't know like if, if I don't totally like the game right now, is there a way in which it gets better? I barely got to anything interesting. I know, that's what I'm saying. I barely got to anything interesting. I agree. Right. Well, I might play it again some other time, but I think for now, that's enough for tonight. Usually when I feel that way about a game, it's like I just give it some time. Yeah, I mean, the, with the combat, here's the thing about Dark Souls style combat, right? On the one hand, it's this like tight timing exercise thing. And I think, I think that that's potentially very interesting, but it's never hooked me in any of these games because the games feel too sloppy. Like, you know, like I'm glitching AI because it's on the other side of a rock or something, right? Or like in the original games, uh, this game seems better, but in the original games, like monsters were like clipping through walls all the time. You were clipping through walls all the time. There were like invisible hitboxes everywhere. And I just couldn't get into it because it's like what you're sort of asking me to do this careful, precise thing, but the entire game is sloppy, right? Um, this game feels better than I remember the previous games playing feeling, but it's still, you know... I'm fighting bat dudes and they're like blocked by rocks and that's fine, right? The level world design. Yeah, I never, maybe it's because I never played the games very long. But I never really get far enough for anything to appeal to me. Like the one thing in this game that was interesting was the giant tree in the sky. It's like, all right. If you had started the game with the giant tree in the sky and then showed me more stuff like that, I would have been on it, right? But instead I see... Uh, the cast of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Uh, worms coming out of the ground. And like skeleton dudes. And a lot of annoying multiplayer comments that don't mean anything. Like it's just not. It doesn't seem designed to hook me with world design in any way. You know what I'm saying? The dungeons are still good level design. Well, I didn't feel like that. Like the tutorial dungeon wasn't good, even for a tutorial. It was just like some hallways, right? And then an open room at the end. So it didn't show me that either. It's like, you got to show me something. Like I've played for an hour. An hour is like an episode and a half of Twin Peaks. I could have watched the entire 
season one, episode one of Twin Peaks and then had an extra 20 minutes. Takes a while for this game to ramp up to something interesting for level design. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not even sure what the good level design would be because you move really slow. You don't seem to have a lot. So part of the frustration, too, is on the one hand, I haven't done or seen anything exciting in this hour, right? On the other hand, I'm not good at the game, even for, like, I'm bad at the game, even for what it is, because there's all these attacks. Like, I've got, I don't even know how many attacks I have right now. I've got, like, ten different attacks that I know how to do, at least, and a couple blocks. And, like, I don't know how to use any of those, right? I can sort of look and see how slow they are and whatever, but I don't, you know, and that's attacks that I actually know. I'm sure there's, like, button combos that I don't know what they are, right? And, like, that's not very amenable to practicing. Like, if I got to practice, like, just if I had one attack and it was like attack, attack, dodge, dodge, attack, dodge, and that was in a loop of, like, a tightly designed level, that would be one game, to one way to make a game like this. Sorry, I keep saying the wrong word and stuff. I think it was contagious from me watching the State of the Union address tonight. But anyway, um... That's one way to make an engaging game where you feel like you're getting better at it very quickly and you're in interesting situations. I don't think it's the only way, right? But it's, it's, I probably would have done something more like that. Don't know if I can get there in an hour. Yeah, that's fine. You know, part of what's going on, like I was sitting here, my neck starting to hurt me today because of somewhere. One of the cafes I sat in probably has a table that's the wrong height for me. And so, like, while I've got a little bit of a neck thing, it's like, I don't want to sit here for hours and grind on a video game because it's going to just put me in a bad mood anyway. <laughs> but, you know, like, this game, if you wanted it to be, like, tight and engaging from the beginning, that could have been done probably without damaging the game at all because you just give people a tight, engaging beginning and then you get out onto the open world. Like, that would have been great. Just one weapon, strong, weak attack, and upgrade the weapon through different options. Yeah, um, I agree. That would be much more learnable, right? Um, I think that's indisputable. That is an indisputable fact that that would be the much more learnable version of the game. Whether that's better is, of course, a matter of opinion. But um, I think it would be better as well. Isn't learning the game part of the fun? Not really, no. I mean, for some games it is. For this game, I have not had a fun time trying to learn. Like, that's like saying, isn't being in school part of the fun? It's like, well, maybe. For a lot of people, it isn't. For me, it wasn't. Yeah. All right. So if I play this again later, step one. By the way, Steam broke so that this button never changes now. Congratulations, Valve. Steam is so broken now. God. If I play it again, somebody remind me to turn off all the multiplayer. <laughs> Everything to do with the network has to get shut off. Um, and, and then we'll see if we feel more immersed. Probably hard to do good onboarding for this game because it's so complex. I don't think so. Like, literally just add a thing in the beginning. That would have helped tremendously. Just have a 20 minutes in the beginning that's linear and interesting. And that actually teaches the game. And they just didn't want to do that. Because I guess, you know, again, like, they're trying not to make it too different or something from the other games. You like that they don't have things behind arbitrary unlock walls. I mean, there's a difference between doing that a little bit at the start and doing it through the whole game. Right? Those are two very different game design strats. And they want people to see the open world ASAP. I mean, here's the thing. Open worlds aren't that impressive anymore, right? Like, the PS4 launch title, the, the PS4 launch show when all these open world games got shown off, including The Witness, was like the last time that open world was at all impressive. And it, the, most of the time that it was impressive was before that, right? Like, dude, Shadow of the Colossus was freaking open world, although... I had a lot of problems with what it did. So like if that's the idea is to show people that it's open world because they'll love it or something, it's like, well, 
A lot of games do this now. Like, literally every game is open world now. Yeah, Gothic 2. Dude, Gothic 1 was open world. I was even just limiting myself to console games just so that, you know, I could give them the appropriate handicap. But yeah, dude, Gothic 1, very good open world game for its time. I mean, shit, dude. <laughs> like, Ultima 3, very good open world game. Like, you know... Like, open world has been here forever. Ultima 2, even. Or 1, maybe even 1. Dude, Ultima 2 was an open solar system game. You could go, you could travel to an entire solar system of open worlds. I just wish I would have a good experience. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, you can't force it, right? Like, I went into the game wanting to really enjoy it. You know, it's not like I went into it wanting to trash it, but... Um, I don't, I mean, and I'm not like trashing it either. Like I, I see how that could be a game that some people want to play. Um, I also really didn't like Horizon Zero Dawn and that's a game that a lot of people want to play. So, you know, the, the different strokes for different folks. It's all good.